you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy scripture by wisdom ministries march 21st fifth sunday of lent let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john chapter 12 verses 20 to 33 now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some greeks they came to philip who was from bethsaida in galilee and said to him sir we wish to see jesus philip went and told andrew then andrew and philip went and told jesus jesus answered them the hour has come for the son of man to be glorified very truly i tell you unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies it remains just a single grain but if it dies it bears much fruit those who love their life lose it and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life whoever serves me must follow me and where i am there will my servant be also whoever serves me the father will honor now my soul is troubled and what should i say father save me from this hour no it is for this reason that i have come to this hour father glorify your name then a voice came from heaven i have glorified it and i will glorify it again the crowd standing there heard it and said that uh, it was a thunder other said an angel has spoken to him jesus answered this voice has come for your sake not for mine now is the judgment of this world now the ruler of this world will be driven out and i when i am lifted up from the earth will draw all people to myself he said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ my dear friends in jesus christ we are just one week away from holy week and a celebration of god's love for us in his passion death and resurrection today we look at the meaning of what jesus did for us some greeks probably converts to judaism approach a philip say we want to see jesus philip tells andrew and both go with the request to jesus we are not told if those men ever did see jesus but we do know what seems at first sight the rather strange answer that jesus gave to his disciples unless a grain of wheat falls on the ground dies it remains a single grain but if it dies it is a rich harvest the grain of of course does not actually die but it is uh, totally transformed into something completely new roots leaves and fruit similarly the caterpillar let's go of being a caterpillar to become transformed into something altogether different and often much more beautiful the moth or butterfly to see jesus is not just to look at him which is what those greeks presumably wanted to see jesus is to enter totally into his way of thinking to understand why he had to suffer and die and rise again like the grain of wheat jesus has to let go of everything including his own life in order to bring life to himself and many others in the process both he and we will be transformed if we cannot see this as the core of jesus life we have not really seen him but jesus goes further and always says we must have the same way of thinking anyone who clings to his life will lose it and the one who is willing to let go will find a much richer and enriching life and if we want to be close to jesus we have to walk his way if a man serves me he is my disciple he must follow me where i am my servant will be there too it means walking with jesus and with mary on the way to calvary wherever that happens to be for each of us 
yes my dear friends god are we ready for that are we afraid to let anything everything go is jesus asking too much let's have to have no doubt jesus himself was afraid deeply afraid now my soul is troubled what shall i say father save me from the this hover in the second reading we see during his life uh, on earth christ offered prayer and entreaty aloud and in silent tears to the one who had the power to save him from death letting go did not come and any more easily to jesus than it does it to us but after his prayer when he sweat blood in fear and trembling he was able to say yes although he was sent he learned to obey through suffering and as a result he became for all who submit themselves to him the source of life and salvation yes my dear friends so let us today learn to see jesus the go- jesus of the gospel the jesus who let go of everything for us and who invites us to be with him all the way let us pray for his courage and his trust in his father that the life and happiness and fulfillment we all long for is in that letting go and letting god amen may god bless us.